I'm Cam Wyland. Most of us learn pretty early in our writing lives that active verbs are preferable to passive verbs. This is so for the simple reason that the active voice offers more options for bringing a sentence to life and infusing it with, well, action. This isn't to say that passive verbs don't have their place, but it's good to remind ourselves from time to time of just how much more power we find in active constructions. A literary novel I read recently offered just such a reminder, by way of prose that was absolutely stuffed with passive verbs. Midway through the book's first chapter, I stumbled upon an especially egregious paragraph, which featured eight passive sentences, one after the other, with nary an active verb in sight. Although not inherently problematic, this slew of passivity robbed this particular paragraph of any chance of energy and motion. The characters and their actions lie flat on the page, like a stuffy room waiting for someone to come along and open a window. Don't let this happen to your paragraphs. Keep your sentences moving forward with a judicious mix of verbs, preferably more active than passive. But don't settle for the first action verb that comes along. Dig a little deeper under the surface of your prose until you find words that convey just the right meaning, and when appropriate, those that are original enough to help a reader see an old action in a new way.